Hi, Dr. Joe Spoo with your Yukonuba Project Upland dog tip. Today, Boomer and I are going to take a look at nail care and trimming your dog's nails. It's an often overlooked part of dog maintenance, and so I wanted to kind of give you some guidelines to be able to trim your own dog's nails. Where this becomes important is that when we see excessively long nails on these hunting dogs, they'll get caught in cover and they'll rip the nails, which can in and of itself be a painful experience for a lot of these dogs. The thing we worry about long term though, is if that nail goes unaddressed and stays broke, um, or if the dog starts licking at it and causes an infection, the next step back from that nail bed is bone. And we can have dogs that have pretty massive infections and issues with their feet if we don't take care of the, the nail. Um, prior or after it breaks. And so there's Boomer's kind of a good example because he's got two types of nails. He's got the black nails, which everybody hates to trim because you can't see the blood vessels. And then he also has the white nails where you can see the blood vessels. And so a couple of guidelines. One is like these middle two toes on him. You can see that we have one white nail and one black nail is I'll oftentimes use the white nail as kind of my guide for trimming the black nail. The other thing that we can do is that if you look at the bottom and so kind of flip the nail over and look at the back of the nail, you can see the thinning part of the nail that you're gonna take off. Ultimately, if all of those kind of still give you pause, the, the, the guideline that I use and how I'm gonna use my trimmers is if you take and draw a straight line up through the bottom of the pad through the nail, that's the line in the plane you're gonna follow that should keep you in front of the blood vessels and the nerves that come out of these nails. And so for as far as the trimmer goes, I like the scissor type handles. And so just your normal nail trimmer, uh, these orange handle ones are pretty common heavy duty ones. I prefer them to the guillotine, kind of the old school style, which is more of a silver and, and you slip the nail through it and then cut in kind of a guillotine fashion. And so what I do with these guys, and we'll do the white nail first on Boomer, is actually kind of just lay the head of that so you're gonna, on the bottom of his pad and kind of get my orientation. I'll flex that nail down just a little bit and then just trim the nail. Uh, and then so then going over to the black nail, similar thing. I can kind of see where the blood vessels are on that pink nail, or I can use that paw pad as kind of my guideline and then trim it. A lot of uh, technicians and dog groomers will then go back and kind of shape that nail if it, and take kind of the edges off of it to make sure that it doesn't snag. For me, the big thing is getting those tips of the nail off so that that dog's not gonna catch it while it's running through the field. So there you have it, uh, some good tips on, on trimming those dog's nails. Uh, make sure that it's, it's not a neglected part of your field care as we go into this hunting season.